What's up, buddies? It's Other Jesus, and I've got a Borderlands video for you today. Very special one. It's the unboxing of the Borderlands 2 swag filled limited edition diamond plate loot chest. I was very excited to get this. They are limited edition. I got this from Think Geek. You can see Stargirl there unboxing it. Comes in a kind of a real kind of flat pack and medium flat rate box is what they call it. So there we take it out. It's got a whole bunch of Hyperion mail service info all over it. A bunch of stuff printed all over it with a special note from Jack on top. It says it pretty much contains what's left of Bloodwing. That's kind of sad, but he left us some X's and O's, some kisses there. That's so sweet of him to do that. So here we go. I'm going to open it up, and we're going to get a look inside here. Ah, uh, very nice. Pretty simple pack. You know, it's a pretty standard packaging in there. So let's actually lift it out of here. Having Stargirl do all the work while I did all the filming. And it's wrapped up in plastic. And it, 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 it is plastic. It's not metal. Um, but it's still it still feels, you know, pretty pretty well built. It's uh, it's not very large, which I was kind of excited about because uh, I wasn't sure how big it was going to be and I really didn't want a huge, you know, item uh, in, in my living room or something to, you know, have to display this huge item. So it's a real manageable size if you want to display it. And there's a lot of fine detail on it. And let's open it up. You push in the button and lift up. So it's got kind of a locking mechanism. And there we go. Looking at all the loot inside there. And on top, you can see there is the Goliath helmet. And it's kind of Halloween costume style. And that itself comes wrapped up. Um, so I had to cut that open. But you can see the string on the back there. So when you do open it, yeah, it's pretty much like a Halloween mask style. So if you wanted to, you know, get crazy, there's a photo of a, a video of Stargirl wearing it there. So if you wanted to wear it for Halloween, you know, boom, there you go. Dress up as a Goliath. Ladies love a Goliath, if you know what I mean. And so now we're uh, digging into the chest here. And there's some kind of like artifacts, kind of posters. And it's really cool how they kind of, I mean, they kind of crumpled them up in there. But it gives it this really authentic feel. That was once a respect authority with a loader on it. So, you know, it was like a poster maybe uh, that was found around Pandora. Giving it kind of like a time piece feel or like a time capsule feel. Um, so I thought that was really cool. I was actually kind of kind of impressed. You know, they didn't just roll them up and, and put them in there. Uh, and here's a uh, like a page from a newspaper, and you can see there's advertisements for the for an Hyperium SMG, and uh, an advertisement with Moxie in there. It's the Pandoran Gazette. Sanctuary rises. Crimson Raider's stronghold levitates, then disappears from sky, says a local woman. Woman's up. Woman's up. Mod it, drop it, pop it. So, uh, Pangolian adaptive munitions. And we'll open up the next artifact here, the next uh, flyer. Or, let's see, we got here another flyer. All right, this one. Ah, so this one, join the Crimson Raiders, fight back. So yeah, so another poster that you might have seen around Pandora, getting people, uh, that's probably Roland recruiting people um, for the for the Crimson Raiders. And let's open up the next one here. This looks like another page from maybe the, uh, from the Gazette. Missing my cat, lost puppy, for sale, baby's gun. Maybe that might be a reference to the legendary baby maker. Some ads for grenade mods. Um, all sorts of stuff there. Lightning SMG. Spleen, needs needed spleens, if you saw that there. And then, as we flip it over, there's an advice column. Ask Dr. Tannis. And I read a few of these, and they were, they were pretty funny. They were kind of far-fetched and uh, kind of <laughs> crazy. 
but that's Borderlands style for you, right? And here it is, the Certificate of Authenticity, the limited edition Borderlands 2 diamond loot, diamond plate loot chest, as I focus there, and ours is 10,628, and it's signed by Marcus. And these were kind of hard to get a good video of, but these are the window decals. I tell you that uh, vault symbol is a pretty sweet one to have, I tell you that. Then there's all the different weapon manufacturers. I mean, I don't really know if I would put those on my car, you know, um, but still pretty cool. Still pretty cool. Maybe uh, in, in my earlier years, I might have put those in my car if I was still in high school. Nothing against anybody in high school. I mean, I you know, I envy you high school's good years. If I was in high school, I would totally slap those on my car. But right now, I don't think I would be putting those on my, on my car. Maybe the vault symbol one. And now we have some wanted posters. Now, these are really cool. These are thick. Well, not, you know, not super thick, but they're thick enough to be you know, high quality paper, and this first one is my favorite, because it's got my two favorite characters, motherfucking Maya, and motherfucking Zero, oh, they are, they are so badass, and that's, uh, my character, and Stargirl's character that we play with all the time in our Borderlands videos, and you can see the other ones here, dun, dun, dun. and the, you know, the only bad thing about these is they were really tight, they were like really wound up tight, it's cool they did put the uh, DLC characters in there. So check that out. But yeah, they were wound up really tight. But you can maybe frame them. Um, you know, they would look cool. If you had like a gaming room, you could frame them or hang them on the wall. They would look really cool. Now here's what I was really most excited about. This is a pack of Borderlands 2 Legendary Trading Cards. Now I think they're all the same in every loot chest. I think it's the, the same thing. So... Now, I have to admit, I was a little bit disappointed about these because I was under the impression that these cards were a little bit larger, maybe about twice the size. I didn't quite catch on that they were uh, like trading card size. And they do give you shift codes for all of these. Uh, some of them I already had, but some of them I was at over uh, overpower level 6 and I was stuck. I could not, I had shit weapons and I could not beat overpower level 6. So I cashed in a few of these and I got some overpower level 6 legendary weapons, and I kicked ass all the way to overpower level 8 with some of these weapons, so it really helped me out, came in handy, got them right at the right time. But I was, as I was saying, I was a little bit disappointed. I thought it was going to be the cards that had a lot of information about these legendary weapons, and also I thought it was going to be a card for every single legendary weapon. And I was really excited about that. Um, so slightly disappointed for me, but still, these cards are high quality. They were they were really nice, and um, the shift codes came in handy. And I will be giving away some of the uh, PC, Mac, and PlayStation shift codes because I'm probably going to use all the Xbox ones. But if you're a PC gamer, Mac gamer, or a PlayStation Gamer, I'm going to be giving away some of the shift codes, and there's a video that kind of shows you everything all out of the box. And that's it, guys. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed this unboxing. Uh, please remember to like, comment, and subscribe. I really appreciate it if you do. And follow me on Twitter, at OtherJesus. I do Twitch streaming and YouTube streaming. Uh, anyway, guys, I hope you sleep well. Until next time. Oh, it's Stargirl. Bye. Oh, I want everything you got! You will last two minutes! My mommy looked at me that way too!